You ever wonder about how to win at DFS? Do you know what DFS is? Are you a seasonal player, maybe transitioning to DFS and not sure what that world means? Well, I'm Tony Cotillo. This is Jason Mizrahi, and we're going to teach you how to win at DFS. You just saw that video. It's like the DFS Academy. Okay, we're going to tell you tips on how to win at DFS. This is Win Daily Sports. Make sure you're following at Win Daily Sports. Make sure you're following WinDailySports.com uh, for all your DFS needs. I'm Tony Cotillo. This is Jason Mizrahi. Both of us successful businessmen. Both of us at Win Daily Sports. I host a ton of shows at Win Daily Sports. Do a lot of media work. Jason is the founder and CEO of Win Daily Sports, author of Win Daily, hitting multiple, multiple contests. And we're going to get into all of that. Uh, but the most important thing we want to do is we want to answer the question on how do we win at DFS. And Jason, for the beginner out there, for the novice out there, maybe the guy or girl who was a season long fanatic and said, what is this daily fantasy? I'm tired of the injuries. I'm tired of losing my guys for the year. How do I win daily? What would you say to that person? That person, you know, have, you know, the proper expectations coming in. You see a hundred thousand dollars, the first contest, you know, you want to go out there and think it's going to be a quick six figure win and you can retire from work and just play daily fantasy sports for the rest of your life. It's not that easy. So let's get that out of the way, have the right expectations going in and then, begin to have a process start to learn your process every day refine it every day and get access to the right tools in order to have the right information you need the news you need the tools and trust vegas vegas is out there they set over unders it's no longer vegas you know most states or a lot of states have legal sports books now so they tell you what the over under for football basketball baseball game is who's projected to win you got player props those are projections. We have projections at Win Daily. There's plenty of sites out there to give you projections and a lot of optimizers. So have a process, trust your process, refine your process, and have the right expectations going in that there's a lot of people working really, really hard to actually beat you. So you got to trust your own numbers and your own process and get better every single day and learn from a community of people that are out there trying to help others. Now, one of the questions that a lot of people ask me, and I've tried to explain this to them before, and it's spot on too about trust in Vegas. There's a reason why Vegas knows. There's a re like if we won every single night, Vegas wouldn't be in business, right? So, uh, you know, we have to find that value, but we also have to trust those numbers as well. But we have two things: we have single entry contests and we have double ups. And a lot of people are like, what is double up? Does that mean I always win double my money? What is single entry? Does that mean I just can't enter more than one time? There's some that multi-entries. Like, how do you explain that process to everybody? Yeah, so those big contests I told you, you know, two minutes ago, not to focus too much attention on those 100000 or 50000 or a million dollars to first contest. Most of the big players, the full-time players, whatever you want to consider them, They'll enter 150 lineups. They'll max enter those contests. And your typical just getting started or, you know, average player might enter one lineup, two lineups, five lineups. So you're at a disadvantage to somebody who's entering 150. How do you level that playing field? You enter single entry contests where it's my best lineup against, you know, 100 or even 1,000 or 10,000 people's best one lineup. So they can't just take these wild shots as much as you would when you have 150 lineups behind you. So you have an equal edge against your opponents. And that's why single entry contests, you can play them, you know, in a double up version, 50, 50 version where you just have to beat 50% of the field, or you can go at it tournament style where there's still big contest where it's 10,000, the first or 25 or 50, they still have those contests. And if you can afford it, obviously the higher you go up, in money and you know dollar amount entry amount less people you got to beat so find those sweet spots that match your bankroll match you know your contest selection and go at it and build specifically for those contests to play it safe in certain spots but make sure you have enough variation in those lineups and one thing that i want to point out tone manage your bankroll you're not just in it to play it today 
retire tomorrow or play it today. And again, retire tomorrow because you lost all your money. So if you have $100 or $1,000 or $50 or $20, you know, give yourself some time. There's going to be injuries. There's going to be bad days. There's going to be good days. You want to have money for the good days to, you know, cover you when you have a couple of bad days. So manage that bankroll. Say, look, I want to go at this for a month or three months or a season and spread out your money. So you're only using a certain amount of your budget day in and day out. So you can be there at the end. And remember, a lot of this for a lot of people is entertainment. So have fun with it. Manage your bankroll. Trust your process. And don't forget, look, there's tons of communities out there that have Discord chats or whatever version of an expert chat. And a lot of tools out there that are, look, if you're risking hundreds or thousands of dollars, spend $5 or $10 a week or $100 a month. If you're risking thousands to get that edge, it'll save you time. It'll save you stress. And a lot of good people are out there trying to help you win and giving you the information. At the end of the day, it's your decision how to click those lineups and make those final decisions. But they're there to help you, Tone. That's a great point. I mean, listen, you say ask for help and you can ask us for help all day long. You can hop into Win Daily Discord and we have so many tremendous coaches in there. You can listen to us on weekends on series as well, where we build lineups, whether it be for cash games or whether it be for tournaments, doesn't matter. Lineup construction is key. And always don't think you're asking a stupid question. That's the most important thing, especially when you're first starting out. You are spending money, whether it's a half a unit, whether it's a full unit, doesn't matter. Okay. It, it's still your money. It's still your hard-earned money, so you want to make sure that you're investing it wisely. But the biggest thing we want to talk about later is, you know, why people lose. And, and that's one of the things that's very important. Like, people say, I, I put the lineup in, Jay, but why did I lose? So, again, we're going to get back with that on our next video. So, we just told you how to win at DFS, but now we're going to show you how you lose and it's very easy to do that tony catillo jason Mizrahi, win daily sports is where you find us win daily sports.com make sure you're, you're subscribing to the youtube page you're liking the video uh follow us on all social formats we have different things up every single day hop in our discord chat and the word again is help ask for help and we'll catch you back here why people lose on the next video